Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Nissan oil filter, number 152089E01A. And a very generous viewer, whose name is Diego, from Hood River, Oregon, sent me this used Nissan oil filter. Thanks, Diego. This filter was in service for 3,998 miles and came off of Diego's 2014 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Yep, the one with the 4.0 liter V6 engine. His truck currently has 61,708 miles and the oil he was using with this filter was Nissan dealership 5W30 oil. Let's open up this oil filter and see how it held up. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your in here. Filtration. Okay, so before we cut this filter open, let's take a quick look at it. Here's the day code, 2208111. You look over here, it says made in Mexico. And this filter has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone in drain back valve. Metal core louvers. Bypass valve down below. About four grooves there for threads. And this O-ring style gasket. Nitro rubber. Take that right off. Fits in the groove here. And they got some instructions here and stuff. All right, let's open this filter up, see what it looks like. Okay, so we can see the little paint from the can. Little slivers here, that's, that's from opening it up. Let's put this to the side. Okay, silicone and drain back valve. Pretty slippery guy there. That all looks good. Yeah, clean it up. Base plate. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, filter element. Got a bypass valve right here. Let's get some glue on here. Quite a bit actually. Here's some more glue. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. This must be a seam right here. Kind of a big gap there. And as far as I know, this is a cellulose filter media, but I don't have a micron rating. Yeah, the pleats ain't bad except for right here. It's pretty bad. And like I said, there's some glue on here. We got here a stamp leaf spring. No sludging going on, so the oil looks good. Yep. Now let's get some measurements on this can. This can is 0.43 millimeters thick. Bad. And the filter element. 2.03 inches wide. Okay, well, let's cut this open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, here's the filter all stretched out. And this filter is 47 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. This filter is 0.77 millimeters thick. Let's take a look at it up close. It's the filtering side, back side. And I took two microscope picks. I got one of just this flat side, and I got one of some of the seam in there. So let's take a look at that right now. So as you can see, it caught some uh, some soot, some carbon, and let's take a look closer look here. And you can see it's got a lot of 
carbon in the seams. Got a little carbon. Not really any sparklies. You see like a couple, but that's it. Mostly just carbon. There's, there's one right there. Carbon and soot. There was one there too, also. Try checking those out at the end of the video. But yeah, you can see, just got mostly carbon right in the seams. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gasket looks like it held up fine. I throw over gasket. This, uh, any silicone, any drain back valve, this is like brand new. This is really nice. Yep. It covers up that nicely. Stamp leaf springs fine. You got louvers, they're all opened up. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, you can see them there. I forgot my flashlight. You can see that they're opened up. And the can, the can's nice and thick. And there's no sludging going on really, so it, no soot. Sometimes there's a lot of soot on the bottom. I'd say the filter did a pretty good job of filtering. So what do you guys think about this Nissan filter? And again, I want to thank Diego for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. There's a sparkly. Oh, you see that? The magnet grabbed that one. That magnetic? Nope.